In the face of adversity, the true character of a nation is revealed. Let us journey back to the time when freedom was not a given, but a dream, a time when the United States was still finding its feet. Picture it, November 10, 1775, in the throes of the Revolutionary War. An idea took root, a concept that would shape the course of American history. The United States Marine Corps was born. Their role in the war was not just vital, it was transformative. They were more than soldiers. They were the embodiment of the American spirit, fighting not just for their own lives, but for the lives of generations to come. They fought, they bled, and they triumphed, helping to secure the independence that we hold so dear today. The birth of the United States Marine Corps was more than just the formation of a military branch. It was the birth of a symbol of American bravery. As the echo of the first battle cry faded, a new sound filled the silence. The rhythmic cadence of a creed, a mantra that would guide every Marine from that day forward. The words of Major General William H. Rupertus, born from the aftermath of the attack on Pearl Harbor, resonate through the ages. This is my rifle. There are many like it, but this one is mine. My rifle without me is useless. Without my rifle, I am useless. This creed, spoken with conviction, embodies the symbiotic relationship between a Marine and their weapon. Each Marine understands the gravity of their role, the responsibility that rests on their shoulders. Their rifle is not just a tool, it is a part of them, an extension of their will, their resolve, their duty. My rifle and myself are the defenders of my country. We are the masters of our enemy. We are the saviors of my life. This creed sets the stage for every battle, every triumph that lies ahead. But it's not just the creed that guides them, it is also the call. The call of the Corps, echoed in the verses of the Marines' hymn. From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli, they fight for their country's battles, in the air, on land, and at sea. Their honor, their duty, their resolve, captured in every line. They are the United States Marines the guardians of freedom, the embodiment of American spirit. In the creed and the call, we find the essence of the Marine spirit, the soul of the Corps, the heartbeat of every Marine that has ever served and will ever serve. Through the echoes of history, the sound of courage rings clear. In the annals of time, the United States Marine Corps has painted a canvas of tenacity and valor, their tale woven through countless battles and triumphs. From the early days during the War of 1812, they've stood tall amidst the storm. Their gallant defense of Washington, their decisive victory at the Battle of New Orleans, etched the first lines of their enduring legacy. World War I saw them at Belleau Wood, where they fought with such ferocity that they were dubbed devil dogs by the enemy. Their spirit, unbroken, their resolve, unyielding. They turned the tide of a war that seemed all but lost, proving to the world that the Marines were a force to be reckoned with. In World War II, from the sands of Iwo Jima to the blackened skies over Okinawa, they stood as a bulwark against the storm. They fought, they bled, and they triumphed, their courage a beacon of light in the darkest of times. In the chill of the Korean War, they held the line at the chosen reservoir, outnumbered and outgunned, yet undeterred. They fought on, their spirit as indomitable as ever. The jungles of Vietnam saw them once more, their bravery undiminished amidst the chaos. They fought through the Tet Offensive, through the Battle of Hue, their spirits shining bright amidst the shadows of war. And in the recent deployments in the Middle East, they stand as a symbol of America's unyielding spirit. In the face of uncertainty, they bring stability. In the face of chaos, they bring order. Their courage, their commitment, their sacrifice echo through the ages, a testament to their unwavering dedication to duty. In every battlefield, in every era, the USMC has stood as a beacon of hope, a symbol of America's unyielding spirit. Behind every victory, there are countless heroes whose names we may never know. Hidden in the folds of history are tales of individual Marines whose deeds of valor and bravery have left indelible marks. They are the embodiment of the Marine Corps ethos. Honor, courage, commitment. Consider those who have received the Medal of Honor, the highest military decoration. These Marines, through their selfless acts of heroism, have etched their names in the annals of time. Yet for every name we know, there are countless others we do not. They are the silent warriors, 
the unsung heroes who fought with grit and determination, often paying the ultimate price. Their contributions, while not always recognized, are no less significant. They are the backbone of the Marine Corps, the heart of its fighting spirit. They are the ones who embody the true essence of Semper Fidelis, always faithful. It is upon the shoulders of these unsung heroes that the legacy of the USMC stands. The legacy of the United States Marine Corps is not just written in the annals of history, but in the hearts of every American. The Corps, from its inception, has been a cornerstone of our nation's strength and resilience. They've stood tall in the face of adversity, from the shores of Tripoli to the jungles of Vietnam, from the deserts of the Middle East to the mountains of Afghanistan. Their story is our story, a narrative of grit, determination, and an unwavering commitment to the ideals that define us as a people. It's a tale of ordinary men and women stepping up to do extraordinary things, of sacrifices made and victories won. The Marines continue to serve on the front lines, safeguarding our freedoms and embodying the spirit of American courage. They are the embodiment of our nation's resolve, our shield against the storms. The United States Marine Corps, a testament to American courage, a beacon of hope and an enduring symbol of our nation's resolve. Here's to the heroes, past, present and future. Happy birthday, Marines.